Okay, well, this should have happened after lesson two. We're going to show you how to create, simulate, and fly a mission. I want you to do this on a web browser and a computer, not your smartphone or tablet. Here are the things that are the prerequisites for this exercise. We should have covered most, if not all of this, in lesson two where you saw the link. So we're going to start. We want to make sure you have the Chrome Virtual Litchi mission, either for Chrome or there's one for Firefox, added to your browser. This lets you go directly into Google Earth from Mission Hub. We've opened Mission Hub. Log in. You should have had an account. If you don't, create an account here. Log in. Once you're logged in, go over to the left side of Mission Hub. It should be in your general area. And you can hit the home button and it'll show you what home is for you. It should be in your general area where you're at. We're going to open settings. I'm going to set it for Imperial. We're going to set the heading to auto and then action none. And um, we're going to take a look at uh, um, the uh, cruising level and we're going to change this down a little bit. And we'll come down here, take a look at these other settings. Focus point of interest will set, and then we'll close it. Now we're going to go, and just like we showed in Lesson 2, we're going to throw up a few waypoints. So we'll just click the map with the left or the right mouse button, excuse me, left mouse button, and there's our first waypoint. And we're going to adjust the altitude for that first waypoint up. I want to set it to like 200, get it up a ways. All the other waypoints by default Oops, I did an accident there. I'll delete it. All the other waypoints by default will be at that same level from here on in. So now we're just going to make a really small mission right around my neighborhood. I want you to do the same thing around your neighborhood. We'll put roughly about 10 waypoints around here. Click them here and be done and call that good. And we're going to go and save that. Uh, we'll call this one Test 2. And then we'll hit save. And once we've hit save, we're going to come back down and we're going to export it as a VLM. If you have the uh, plugin to your browser, it should automatically uh, download a KML file. When you click on that, it should automatically bring up Google Earth, like mine is here. So in Google Earth, it's going to load this mission, it's going to show the flight path. It's going to show the altitude. It's going to show the waypoints, just like we saw uh, when we did the previous tutorial uh, on using uh, Litchi Mission Hub and Google Earth. I'm going to hide all of those diagnostics. I'm just going to double-click the mission so we can see it run here. So in this particular mission, we haven't set any points of interest, and we're just letting the drone follow uh, the actual... Um, path uh, as prescribed by the various waypoints that we've laid down. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. We don't need to see all this. Again, we're just showing that, okay, it's a mission, and it's not looking at anything in particular. It's not really a very interesting mission, but uh, it's a quick one, and it's basically uh, done about what we've wanted to. Um, it's returned to home. It's done. So we're going to exit out of here for now, and we're going to go back into Mission Hub, well, just like last time, we're going to add one simple point of interest right in the center. But I want to have you go into settings and change the heading mode to custom, okay? And then be done. And watch what happens. I'll basically click that, uh, click the right mouse button to add a point of interest. Now the little icons will all look at that point of interest. I'm going to save it, and we'll go right back into Google Earth just with that simple one change. And we're going to simulate this again. Okay, export it as a VLM. Double click on it. And that will cause uh, Google Earth to come up. There it is with all the diagnostics showing. And we will go hide those again. We'll double click on the virtual mission. And um, once we see it there, we get down far enough. There it is, test two. And virtual mission, we'll double click that. Uh, now you can see this time it is pointing downwards uh, at wherever I happen to drop that point of interest. So the drone is turning as it's flying, and the gimbal is pointed down at wherever I uh, drop that point of interest. 
Again, it's just to give you an idea of what points of interest do. Now, as you create your missions, one word of advice, don't get carried away with points of interest. Don't have a bunch of them. Have just a few. Otherwise, your gimbal is going to be going back and forth and back and forth. And it makes for not a very good video when you get out there. We're not trying to do too much with cinematography here. Just trying to t show you the mechanics of using L the Litchi app. So we're going to kill out of here again. We're going to go back to Mission Hub. We see Mission Hub there. Okay, now we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go to Waypoint 1, and we're going to add an action. And what we're going to do here is we're going to tell it to start recording when it hits Waypoint 1. And we're going to go to Waypoint 10, the last one. And we're going to tell it to stop recording. We're going to let Litchi do everything this time. Okay, we're going to have Litchi launch it from the ground. We're going to have Litchi start the recording. We're going to have Litchi end the recording. And we're going to have Litchi land the drone. So when I load this up next, and you see it run, <clears throat> uh, everything is going to be done autonomously by the Litchi software. Okay? Um, the one thing I'm changing here is I'm changing the ending to return to home so it lands. I'll save the mission, and we're done. So now we're going to go out. We're going to plug in the phone to the drone. We're going to load up the Litchi app. Here we are here. So the Litchi app opens in FPV mode on the upper left. We want to go hit that icon in the upper left, change it to Waypoint. When that happens, the little folder in the left-hand side We'll click on that. That's where all of our missions are. Go down there, grab test two or whatever you called it. Get that in there. And now hit the arrow button down there. That basically runs a mission. Hit start now. And basically you can see it's loaded the mission in the drone. You can hear it beeping as it's on my drone. And on the lower right, you can see it's taking, the, the drone is taking off by itself. I'm not flying it. Okay, it's going off by itself. So now we've got the drone camera. This time we won't bother looking at any of the videos from the drone. And if you look, it hasn't started recording yet. So look at the recording button in the middle right-hand side. It hasn't started. Once it starts, you should hear it say starting recording. I'll wait. Recording started. There she goes. So it started recording on its own when it hit waypoint one and so it is going to record as it spins around now this is more for a later lesson but just in case you get ahead of me and you start creating missions and you start doing actions at waypoints the thing to be cautious of is if you're using curved turns your drone may never actually hit that waypoint it's always going to hit the first waypoint and the last waypoint but say for example i wanted it to do something on waypoint four here and I added an action there, it actually wouldn't work because it'll never actually see waypoint four. It'll fly close to it because it's got curved turns. The only way you can make it do that is to get rid of curved turns and make it go waypoint to waypoint. So just something to be aware of as you start using add actions as part of your uh, enhanced litchi mission, missions. So the drone is coming around, it's spinning around the neighborhood, it's looking at that point of interest just like we told it to do, and it's going to finish at waypoint 10, and if you look at that square where I'm recording in the middle right-hand side, it, it will eventually say recording stopped, and then it will land because we had a, a what to do after the mission ends, we told it Instead of nothing this time, we told it to return to home. So the drone is going to actually land where it started from. Again, recording there stopped. we go. It stopped the recording. Mission ended. Mission ended. And now it's going to land itself. I'm not flying it. Litchie's flying it. And you'll see in the upper middle, it's going home. Uh, I can tap that if I want to cancel it. If for some reason I don't like what it's doing, I can always opt out of that. So here Litchie is spinning it around. It's getting it positioned right over where it took off from my driveway. It's bringing it down, and it's going to land the drone right in my driveway. So here we go. 
It's coming down. It's landing the drone. There it is on the driveway. And the mission at this point is pretty well ended. So that's it. Um, now uh, let's talk about the things that you should have been able to do by now uh, with these two lessons, okay? You should have a Litchi app on your smartphone. You should have a Litchi account. You should be familiar with the Mission Hub. You should be able to create, modify, and save a mission. You should have the Google Earth browser plugin loaded. You should be able to simulate missions in Google Earth. You should now know how to add an action at a waypoint. The two that we did is start recording at waypoint one, stop recording at waypoint 10. You should be able to load the mission onto your drone and you should be able to successfully run a mission autonomously. I hope this helped you out. That's all for now. Goodbye.